All right, hello. Yes. It doesn't sound great right off the bat. Sounds like uh, dental drills in unison or something similar. Uh, anyway, welcome back to another Trains and Plastic video. We're going to take a look at the Amtrak P40DC by developer DTM. And let me tell you a little tale about the preview stream that Dovetail Games tried to do on this thing a scant fortnight ago that fell apart half an hour into it because the fella trying to show the thing off could not get it to work because the scripts were broken. And so therefore they had to stop the stream immediately and then the video on YouTube was set to private people shared this private video and I'm just going to go ahead and say it was a total shit show and it started spreading like wildfire and then Dovetail promptly completely scrubbed and removed said video so if that's anything to go by on what this product is going to be like we're in for a treat All right, wow, those sounds are, are terrible. These two engines in front of us aren't even running. They are cold and dark. It's way down the line there. You can still hear that. I had to turn my system sounds down by half to get it to a somewhat nominal to where I could hear myself and you could possibly hear, you know, the uh, on display of uh, what we're going to take a look at here today, which, again, is the P42. I'm sorry, the P40DC by... DTM and look at these two. I'll let you take a gander at which one you think is uh, DTM's. But as usual, a teeny teeny tiny bit about the Amtrak P40. Uh, just in case some of those may not know about it, don't want to look up Wiki and don't want to go find another YouTube. This is essentially the Series 1 Genesis or Dash 840 BP. They originally named it the AMD 103 for Amtrak monocoque diesel uh, at 103 mile an hour. They were built 1993 and, of course, diesel-electric configuration uh, using direct current. That's what the DC stands for, to power the traction motors at a whopping 4,000 horsepower at 1,047 RPM. Uh, they had head-in power, uh, which rated them down, downrated them to about 3550 horsepower at 900 RPM. So that's the difference. HEP on, HEP off. They were geared for 103 mile an hour. Uh, the P40 and the P32, which were largely similar, uh, had a Hostler stand in the rear for yard and reversing ops. So we'll take a look at that in just a minute. It's basically a stand where the engineer or train crew can get in the back and back up safely and be able to see out of the back, etc. Uh, which could, could be operated, but they were limited to like 10 mile an hour, I think, operating it from the back. And there was a dead man switch, so hence, if a man fell dead... The train stopped. Uh, they initially had strobes, but they were overhauled and removed, um, which was unique because the P-42s did not. And, and there were 44 units total, numbering 800 through 843. 15 of these units were upgraded to P-42s eventually, and the rest were sold and scrapped. They, of course, still had the General Electric 7 FDL-16 Prime Mover, and uh, they were largely the same. The same body, the, uh, the P-42, which came later, obviously had more horsepower. So it's 4200 versus P-40. There were a few differences. I think the P-40 didn't have the electric brake like the P-42 had. Uh, the Hostler stand on the back, some of the uh, strobes, and all that good stuff. So it's, it's basically the, the, the older brother of the P-42, if you will, if you can think of it like that. But... This product is by DTM on the uh, Steam store, which you can go and pick up now for $19.99. Yes, it costs money. I'm sorry to have to tell you that. Uh, you're going to get the Phase 4 livery with Super Liners, Sleeper, Deluxe Sleeper, Trans Sleeper, Coach, uh, Diner, Lounge, Heritage Baggage, Material Handling Car. You're going to get four scenarios for Stevens Pass. And this son of a bitch is four gigabytes. Four gigabytes. Okay, I'm, I'm being a little over the top. It's 3.6, but still, 
What in the hell in this pack is four gigabytes? Okay, all right, so let's take a look. Um, uh, so, so I have a couple loaded up here. We are, of course, going to run these, but we're going to run these as intended in the scenarios on Stephen's Pass. So we'll see what uh, tomfoolery befalls us in in uh, said scenario. So right off the bat, I hope you can tell which one is the DTM model. It's the one on the right, the one that looks really fat, the one that looks really tall and really wide and really not very good. This one on the left is a, a now member of UTS Creations, which is a group that makes a lot of very nice freeware mods as of late. Uh, they've been kicking stuff around the block here for almost a year now, just about. Um, and one of the persons that was uh, that is now in that group created this P40 Enhancement Pack, which was an enhancement pack off of the True Rail Simulations P42 DC Enhancement Pack. So, this thing on the left is free. I mean, of course, you're going to need the original uh, RSC um, Empire Builder Pack from, from the Steam Store. And then you're going to need the True Rail Simulations Enhancement Pack, which is free. And then this Enhancement Pack. And then that's what you get. Look, look how much more beautiful that thing is. Just the colors alone. And then look at the thing on the right. The colors, the shading... The, I mean, right off the bat, the friggin' Amtrak logo, everything is, like, oversized. It's like, it's like those women that get, like, butt injections and lip injections and all that. That's what the one on the right looks like. It's just, like, swollen, engorged. It, uh, it doesn't look right. The friggin', the friggin' ditch lights and the headlights on that thing look like cannons. They look like howitzers. The Amtrak looks like ass the the number there's like nothing behind it it's just a, a, a flat same color paint with the... man I'm getting ahead of myself here uh, we've got twins in the cab up there obviously so it was a bring your twin to work day um, according to DTM and uh, yeah it just doesn't look good uh, but but this one on the left is free I will link it down below. I also did a video of it when it came out but it was re-released recently uh, after it had been uh, topped up a bit which I will, of course, very much link down below if you don't want to spend money on this one on the right, which I I could stop the video here. I really could. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I, I haven't even looked at it. I, set, I went into the build menu, and I laid these down. I haven't ran any yet just by listening to the, the idle sounds. Just, you know, and what happened with that dovetail stream that is, like, now in the depths of the twilight zone. Anyway, let's take a look at it. All right, I'll stop blabbing. Yeah, so who's to really say that the old RSC model was great? I mean, it did look good. That's this one on the left here, the uh, the, the UTS Creations modded one. But it looks a lot more appropriate. It just, you know, size-wise, it looks a lot more appropriate. This son of a bitch over here is damn near foot taller, um, maybe. It looks massive. Look at it. Uh, one of the issues with the original RSC P42 is it had a, a plow issue or a pilot issue where it was like laughably large uh, in, in the enhancement pack for TRS that was taken and uh, I think a, a new one was noted on and it's just more appropriate and it's smaller. This one on the right, and the DTM one doesn't look as big as the RSC one does but it still looks a bit large. It looks like the front of a freaking kill dozer or something it's just massive um also we'll get up top here the uh the dtm model is considerably longer as you can see this back cap here is much 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 longer the fan is massive uh you know it's not that the model itself i don't think looks that terrible right it's just it's so damn big compared to this one now mind you this one gosh when did this one come out? It was many, many moons ago. Many, 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 many years ago. Um, and, of course, this is enhanced and modded. I'm, I'm sorry to keep talking about this one, but it just, it's just so much better than, than the one that's payware on the right. Uh, just by looking at it. Now, again, some of, some of these things are newly modeled, like these... Uh, 
these little hatches and latches up here. You know, those look okay. Things like that. Not to, not to totally just crap all over it. Um, you know, you've got a lot of the radio equipment and, and, and the horn model here, which, you know, are definitely a lot newer. Although I think this one was topped up, to be fair. But, like, this crap over here, you know, this is old RSC. There wasn't much that could be done with this pack enhancement-wise unless the whole thing was redone. And uh, that wasn't really the point of the pack per se um you know so there are some bits on this that look okay i don't i don't think the weathering on the top looks all that terrible uh all things considered it's got kind of like a down wash down slope effect where things would run down the side you know where it's sitting idle of course if it's moving it's going to be you know going flying backwards if you will uh you know some of the vents in the mesh you know look okay these don't look all that great what's back in there the inverters um you know but some of these you know look okay like model wise uh you know for for what it's worth the fan just seems laughably large so i don't i don't know what it is so here's the hostler stand i was talking about which is on the back of the p40 uh the engineer train crew or whoever the hell could get back here and run this thing in reverse if they needed to at a top speed of about 10 mile an hour uh, these had this. The P42s did not. The P32s did. I'm pretty sure most, if not all, of the P32s had the Hostler stands back here. Uh, but again, just look at the back of these. Uh, we've got the much nicer coupler on the enhancement pack, freeware version on the right. We've got appropriate decals like the, uh, you know, don't shock the crap out of yourself decal right there nothing to be found over here uh again the <laughs> i mean look at this logo man versus like this this is free this was made out of the kindness of someone's heart or spot where their heart should be if they decide not to have one and they wanted it to be as right as possible. And then you have this, which was rushed out the door and obviously saw no beta or QA what damn soever just to make a few bucks quickly. That's this one on the left here. It's, uh... Gosh. Gosh, gosh, gosh. Um... Yeah, it's... You know, so again, like, I don't think a lot of the things model-wise look all that terrible. Some of these cables, you know, and the MU ports and all that, look, they look okay. They're just not shaded or textured worth of crap. There's actually a little bit of, like, uh, actually see the individual cords here. This one, again, you know, is very old. This is the old RSC model that's kind of been topped up, if you will. Uh, so things like this are very old and it shows so there are little things like this to be completely fair You know to the model. Yes, it's laughably large um, You know the the air brake uh, You know these at least have that correct, you know striping down the side of them. Whereas this one's just like There's it looks to be a little kind of kind of Sun cracking and weathering in there that that leathery look, but it's um I don't know. I don't know. Uh, undercarriage. Uh, yeah. Everything always looks very big and blocky with a lot of DTM stuff. Like, there's no depth or three dimension to anything. It's very strange. I've always very much disliked his wheels trucks bogeys whatever the hell they they've never looked right to me the color alone is just always off these are like uh these are like a pudding color they're like uh you guys know what nilla wafers are they're like that color they just you know there, there's no shading hardly any texturing down there no no grime anything like that and uh let's talk about the elephant in the room <laughs> the uh so this is phase three right amtrak phase three uh f this is the f right look at this transition right here it's like dot matrix and then there's a distinct kind of overlapping right here which is very poor 
Um, you know, the, the, the paint on these locomotives is kind of a big deal. A very big deal. Uh, so stuff like that, you got to get right. We'll hop over to this one and take a quick peek -aroo. That's how you do it, guys. That is a fade right there. That's that's how you do it. It's not it's not dot matrix. See? Gray car body. Paint stripe. Look at that. Look at the look at the darkness to lightness. Very subtle. Very subtle. I'm gonna go back over here. Something funky going on with the numbers too. Now I am not a, a transit foamer by any means uh you know I'm, I'm more into freight personally so this unit could have some kind of stupid thing going on with it where the two is like brighter than the, the eight and the seven but i don't know what's going on there uh not only do the numbers look like they're not really in line it's almost like the two has dropped a few millimeters or inches or whatever but it's just totally different colors uh i can't get over these fading stripes though man that's it's bad that's really bad, but you know the 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 grates, you know, and the mesh and things like that look okay. Not to not to be nitpicky, rivet countery, but the bolts could use a little work. When you see stuff like uh, we'll just take you know Mike Rennie smoke box for example, um, you know, but the mesh and the grill itself on these on these vents uh, look okay uh, for the most part. So we got some electrical bit and equipment boxes under here. Uh, so like corners like this were cut so this box down here that that looks like absolute ass down there uh, Yet this pipe up here was was 3d cuz I mean just look at this for a minute and these latches here Just hold hold that hold that thought and then we'll go up to the top and They're up here and those look okay. They look okay all things considered right? but for whatever reason that wasn't translated down here, so Not sure what's going on with that um Compressor tanks. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, again, some of this stuff looks okay. I feel like it's a, a, a bit of a step up for DTM, as ridiculous as that may sound to some. Uh, I can't even believe those words just came out of my mouth. But uh, the, the the texturing and the shading are the big things. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really big in that in that ballpark as far as that kind of stuff technical details but it just looks like something is off um, you know with with the sharp bits here uh, it's just very very odd yeah again uh, yeah trucks and wheels never been DTM strong suit uh, by and large by and large um, Steps look okay. They they look a little thick. Uh, this metal, this this grating here, I feel like should be a bit thinner. Uh, these stripes down here look like ass. Very low res. Um, handles look okay. And the uh, handle inset, you can see some of the the paint actually bleeding through there. So that's lovely. On the back, on the inside, where they're Definitely should not be any paint. It's gonna do it on either side, obviously. That's not very nice. Again, so this this panel right here, what the hell? You know, again, the the, the mesh, the venting, the grating, and all that that looks okay right there. Um, these fins here look very odd. Are they like inverted? What the hell? What is? Those are strange. Those are very strange. Not sure what's going on there. And again, these clips. These uh, D-clips. They look like dog down here. You know, on the on the very side of the locomotive. Yet up here, they're okay. What happened there? What happened there? So the P-40 had uh, a bit of unique pilot up here where it kind of, you know, finned or fanned down the side towards the truck. Um... You know, so that's right for the most part. You can see how it's very bright over here. The one that was modded is darker, which looks a lot better. Jeez, these stripes. Uh, so this has got the bolt-on nose. Did these, did these have the, the nose cap? 
Again, you'll have to forgive me. I'm not a massive transit farmer. Um, I know P42s had uh, had caps. That's odd. This this enhancement pack is not it. It had those removed. Yeah, some some of the P42s had uh, what was it fiberglass uh, caps. So yeah, I'm not totally sure about that. But uh, again, by and large, the front looks absolutely terrible. Uh, these lines super low resolution jaggy this is what you get with extreme low resolution the lights the ditch lights not only are they laughably large they look like ass as well um, you know and some you know I'm terribly sorry if you may be new to the channel and think I'm just ripping this thing apart just to be a dick I am not uh, see the problem here is this is something that's expected to be money transacted to be given to acquire twenty dollars to be precise and person making said stuff has literally been making these for a very long time and nothing is ever updated it's, nothing ever receives a freshening up if you will now to be fair in that regard uh, apparently he is using a new render gobbity gook whatever something to do with them the model and the texturing because you can kind of tell because it doesn't look like the usual DTM ass um, I forget what it's called um, but anyway so to be fair he's he's using a, a new program but but overall it's like it's this it's the same thing time and time again this guy has got a million DLCs on the Steam page and they all every damn one of them always all have the same looks they always have the same sounds same bell same it's just it gets really, really old. People have tried giving him constructive criticism very nicely as well. Not, you know, being a, a whiny dick like I'm being. Uh, you know, and he just turns it down. I know someone offered him free things, you know, to, to fix the horrible headlight flares. You know, horn sounds, bell sounds, all kinds of shit. And he just does not use it. Either that or he doesn't acknowledge it and maybe he'll use it down the road. And, you know, I don't know. But it's... It's very odd. It, it, at some point, it's almost like he's trolling the North American community. It's like a joke because he knows there's going to be a couple dozen people out there that are just going to buy this shit irregardless because of what it is. And that makes me sad because we deserve better than this collectively as enthusiasts of train sim things for North America. You know? The best thing you can do it's not by it. When, when you see something that, that doesn't seem that great, that's the best damn thing you can do. Just not buy it. Vote with your wallet, as they say. But yeah, the front looks like ass. These markers look like ass. It's it's so just choppy looking. And this is 2023. This looks like some freeware shit from like a decade and a half ago. I see stuff in Roblox This made for free in the matter of minutes that look better than this. So the shape of the nose doesn't look that right uh, either. Um, it's it's still very jiggity jaggedy there. It's just, it just does not look right. The front of this thing looks like total ass. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, not sorry. Um... The coupler, again, is very low res. I feel like he's done something different with his coupler. Uh, it looks like a little lighter to me than his, his standard couplers, which were just gray. Always gray. I'm not sure what this these black bars are supposed to be right here, right in the middle. I don't know if that's supposed to be, like, shading, because we'll just take a peek at this one over here. You can see what I mean. So, yep, doesn't, uh, doesn't look all that great. So, you know, in, in, in some regards, things look okay. We don't have the GE Builder's Plate, of course. Um, the Amtrak logo looks really bad. That is right. This is right. That is not right. It just looks stretched. Look at these front caps here. Huh? And huh. Huh? And huh. Number board. Literally nothing back there. 
It's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's like a, a, a sheathing or a, a film, if you will, that the number sits upon. And it looks just like it's painted, just like part of the nose. This is not, as you can see, the actual back of it, so it's like inset. Uh, if, if you can understand what I'm trying to get to there. Um, yeah, he's... he's <laughs> He wins in the wiper department, I guess. <laughs> this is from a very long time ago. So he's got that. He's got the wipers. Got the markers up top, which, uh, again, they look big. The bezels are very thin. Um, that red is just not, doesn't look all that great. This is like a more appropriate kind of faded red there. And some antenna and all that good stuff up here. It's 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 odd. It's like the the top of this thing is the best looking part of this locomotive. The exhaust uh, again looks okay. The stack that is not not the actual particles. Yeah, the uh, the top is the best looking part of this thing, and that's not saying much. We got the Amtrak on the side as well. He did a little bit better with the Amtrak on the side. It seems stretched. Uh, whereas, again, the one over here is much, much, much nicer. Um, K5LA, just, just huge. Look like potato guns. Um, YouTube, please don't ban me for saying potato gun. This, I'm pretty sure this was added. This was updated here. That's uh, it's a nicer looking K5LA. And, uh, yeah, so I'll stop comparing. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys, for some that were not aware, this thing on the left is free. And just look at it compared to the thing on the right. Yay, 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 yay. All right. So those are the Phase 3s that are back there. Prepare your ear holes. Uh, so this thing over on the left here is the phase four. So of course is the phase three. Same one I had back there. Uh, and let's just talk about the coloring for a minute. I feel like everything DTM, it's always great. Like the colors, I don't know if his contrast settings on, on his monitor where he works on this stuff are incorrect. If he's using like an old CRT monitor from 1996. But the colors never pop. You know, I don't think things should be too, too colorful because that looks ridiculous as well. But it's, it's just always like a grayscale. It's like uh, one could say 50 shades of gray. <laughs> yeah, look at the mirrors. <laughs> Forgot to look at those. Uh, looks like some kind of magical stone kind of magical rune behind there that blue color glowing with magic powers um they just they don't look good the colors don't look good at all it's just just uh it's just yeah it's just that's how it looks um i guess we can look at the four here again look at this man look at this look at this I'm trying not to disturb my poor dog who's laying mere feet from me getting all hot and bothered about this, but uh, come on, man. Come on. Here we go with a brighter number again, the two. I mean, I know it's Amtrak, but don't do them like that, you know. Let's get in here in the hostler stand. It's kind of modeled. It'll be interesting to see if you can actually get back here. All right, and this is the crap that uh, the rolling stock that comes with the uh, the pack. So what's very odd is this is the material handling car. It's basically a box car, Amtrak box car. A B C Amtrak box car. Does that work? Checks out. Um, and it looks totally different than everything else. For whatever reason, like it was, it was modeled completely different. Used different uh, texturing colors. It just looks way different than everything else. Not sure what's going on there. Um, but the model itself looks okay. 
Um, I feel like, you know, I just got done bitching about the, uh, the trucks and wheels down there. These look a little bit better. These look a little, little, little bit better. Um, that's interesting. Look how thin that is, dude. That would, like, snap in half with stiff breeze. It's just all very low res. The colors are very sharp and clean as usual. From what I hear, that's not very difficult to do. It's you got to really try to mess up numbers and train sim. Um, you know, he, he's trying some 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 presets and whatever uh, software he uses to you know render and make this stuff. But I don't know if he's using them in the correct order. Uh, things do look a little bit different. It almost looks like a camouflage. It almost looks like a like an urban camo pattern. <laughs> it's uh, it's that's what it is. What's inside? Nothing. Cool. Uh, the end cap looks okay. Honestly, this is probably like one of the the best looking DTM little tiny piece of modeling I've seen ever. Um, yeah, those look okay. Uh, let's look at the top. That, this looks like old DTM right here. A million percent. That doesn't look very good at all. It's just super flat. Looks like a brown paper bag that got, got wet. Uh, Ghost. Uh, this is just the the regular baggage car. Again, I don't really care about the uh, the cars. I'm gonna be more interested in in the locomotives themselves. Why? What is this? What? What are these sounds that keep happening? Interior's kind of done here. Um, you know, very very low poly again. A lot of the bolts don't look all that great. I mean, the the model itself looks oh. K ish it's just it's always murdered with the texturing it's just like you know yikes what is going on with this bearing cap and holy purple wheels batman nay violet what the hell look at what look at that hey, look at that Look at that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> how, how is this stuff different? It's the same pack. Why is that different? Christ on a saltine cracker, man. This looks like shit. Look how low res that is. Look at this. Are these just reused from another pack? That looks terrible. Look at this friggin' tank right here, dude. I don't even care. I don't care about this stuff. I really don't. Uh, again, low res, uh, low poly, nothing's very sharp at all. Um, oh, yeah, this has got to be reused. Look at the wheels, dude. So these are like the newer trucks here, like a uh, material handling car. Those, you know, in, 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 in DTM scope, those look okay. Those look okay. They don't, they don't seem to be missing any parts that I can tell, like the old F7 pack. Uh, anyway, that's the transition sleeper. There's the sleeper. California. California. Uh, Sightseer Lounge. We got down here's a dining car. Deluxe sleeper. So this one's got lettuce and tomato. And the standard arse coach. All right, we'll take an inside look. So I'm going to back up on these and uh, so we can take a look. And then we'll actually, we'll actually try to run this thing Um momentarily uh, in a scenario just to see how it works.
Yeah. Scratch that. We'll just do it in the scenario. BRB. Okay, so what better time to take a look at the manual? This is also, I would like to note, considered pro range. Yes. Professional. You better get your uh, your your helmet and gloves on and special shoes when you run this thing. Um, so yeah, this is the manual. Tells you about this stuff. Cool, cool. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. All right, there's our, our keys. Okay. Oh, God. Brakes. They don't need to be that crazy. Like, we don't, we don't need all that extra brake stuff. It's too extra. Ooh, hi, yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Shows you how to use it in the editor. Blah 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 blah. blah. We are scrolling. Ah, Amtrak marks used under license. Why Amtrak? Why would you do that to yourself? Look at this picture. Something wrong with the the hell. Why would you use that picture? Oh, whatever. Not here for that. All right. Thanks to Gary Dozel. I'm assuming he did the scenarios and uh, he 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 Googled things for um, Caesar. Uh, Mike Rennie, OG Triple OG, very cool fella. Smoke box, um, steam locomotives, some of the best stuff. North American train sim. It trains him in general. Uh, apparently, he helped with this with some of the scripting. And uh, from what I gather, and a lot of people gather, uh, when there was the issue with Dovetail trying to preview stream this thing, and it all fell apart, and they deleted it and tried to hide it, uh, it was due to some of the scripting. But I don't really think that it had anything to do with Mike Rennie, per se, because I know from past experience that something will be done for uh, Caesar, DTM guy, and he'll somehow break it on his own after the fact. He has done that with a lot of products that people have tried to help with. Um, so I'm assuming that's possibly what happened. Martin Filoso, that's uh, that's travel by train guy. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they used to be they used to be you know bros, brohemes, partners in crime, and uh, and what this is, and they split apart. And all that. LP simulations. A lot of you know LP. Uh, part of UTS now. Makes some nice mods. All that good stuff. What this is all about is LP offered him to use. To be able to use one of his horn sound files. And so that's what that is. I think. LP. If you see this. If not. Please let me know. Dovetail team. I don't know what the hell they're part of this for. They didn't test it. Um. They didn't test it until Jamie tried to stream it for the preview stream to sell the fucking thing. And we know how that went. So, all right. That's the manual. Right, right, right. Okay, so this is one of the scenarios you're going to get. I think you get four that uh, essentially take you across Stevens Pass, which is one of the best North American routes, uh, even still to this day, for North American train sim content. It is a bit dated, but it's... You know, it's saying a lot with the age that it is that it's still great for what it is. Um, why it was chosen for these scenarios, I'm not I'm not totally sure. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. You can depart now. Okay, is that all the preface we get about like what train it is, what time it is, uh, where the train's headed, nothing like that? All right, cool. Good scenario. All right, brakes. Brake alerts on. All right, I just heard the GE whoop. That sounded okay. Um, bit intrigued there. Bit intrigued. Um, not sure. That's that's new. I don't know where he got that. Um, but okay, let's get in and take a look. Finally. Oh my God, the brake sound. 
What the hell? It's like, it sounds like a million snakes hissing and a million people running long ratchet fake nails down a chalkboard at the same time. What on earth is that sound? That looks like ass. Those as well. I'll try to keep the negative commentary to a minimum. Let's get... <laughs> Did somebody shit in their hand and then rub it on the console? Or did they just straight turn around and drop trowel on the console? What the hell? Don't even bother trying to weather or texture if it's going to look like that. Just leave it clean. That looks bad. That should not look like that. The controls look very funky as well. Uh, the brake handle looks odd. They, they look... They look like something a, a clown would have in his, like, satchel. With his little, little clown things. Like horns and, you know, little magic things. Uh, my god, dude. What in the hell? Off to a good start there. Um... Yep, that alerter sounds like ass. They don't... That sounds like it was sped up five times, what the actual sound is like. That doesn't sound quite right. Um, shading in here is very terrible. Look at this right here. I can't get over that braking sound. Uh, that noise is like... It's, it's doing... It's hitting me on a frequency that's making me want to, like, do things to things. Um, yeah, it does not look good in here at all. Not at all. Look, look at the corners. The sharp edges, the corners, and the, the lack of, like, shading. And just what... The toggle switch looks okay. It's, an, it's a nice toggle switch up there. I guess. Uh, seats look okay. By and large. Okay, they're not, you know, they're not top shelf. Don't get me wrong. They look okay. Um, again, it looks like somebody shit in their hand and just rubbed it all over the, the, the wall. Is that mold? I don't think this thing is safe to operate. I know our train crews in the States get treated like crap, but that's just, that's gone too far right there. That's not right. That's not right. Uh, yeah. Interior doesn't look great at all. This is so bad. Guys, this is 2023. This is a brand new product. No, you are not watching this from 2010. This came out in 2023. Want to make sure we're all clear on that. Try the views. This is the middle. The door's open. <laughs> Look at the side trail of the door. Is this like mold? This is a health hazard, man. Oh, that's gonna get on my nerves. Time out. There's there's a way to um, get rid of that. Let me let me find the anti um, stupid alerter sound thing uh let's see control dizzle all right all right so there's actually a thing up there that says uh that it's disabled okay there was a door shutting sound so it sounded okay there's no creak it doesn't really sound like metal um you know but l little things like that i could honestly give a damn about you know i i, I don't i don't buy train some add-ons to open and close the doors 50 times like, oh, it sounds so good. It's, you know, it's nice. Things like that are nice to have, but I I could really care. The inside of this thing looks... No, I know these are big. These are pretty big. 
IRL. Um, but this looks really large. Either that or the view is very odd. It's like you're a, it's like you're a child or something. Which I am mentally, but look at this, man. <laughs> uh, throw a bunch of wet towels in a corner and leave them there for three weeks. That's what it'll look like. This. As long as it's like drywall or wood. You know. Brick, concrete. I don't know. Alright. <laughs> that break sound, man. So these old MFDs, um, as far as I can tell, they look like that. Uh, they did change eventually when they got rebuilt in the P-42s. They did look different. Um, they look okay. I mean, the, the freaking bezel, the, the, the deals that hold them in, again, look like dog. Not good at all. Spotter circuit doesn't work. Screen brightness doesn't work. Let's see what we got here. DOT rear emergency, nope. Crossing lights off and on. Forward headlights, I'm terrified to actually look at those. Acknowledgement, that makes no sound. The plunger. The alerter switch makes a sound, but it's bad. Is the bell on? You can't even hear it inside. You know, I do believe that is not the old tried and true DTM bell that was used 72 times after permission was given for the one time. Is it? No, that's something else. Well, they got that. Can you guys hear a horn? I don't hear a horn. So there's no sound occlusion. I'm I'm straight holding the horn down right now. All you can hear is. All right. So yeah, that's I believe that's the horn that LP gave uh, to use. While the sample sounds okay, the the you know the start middle and end is dog it doesn't sound right it sounds all mixed up the, the 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 sound level of it itself is super quiet you can't even hear it these things are pretty damn loud i mean it's k5la they're they're pretty loud and it's got a notable loop i don't i don't even know if you guys can hear that. We'll go far away and try again here. <laughs> Lord above. Lord above. Alright. Uh, do we need to pick people up here? Nope. It says we can get on the move. Alright, let's throw the sucker forward. I'm going to see if there's anything extra I actually need to do here. Let's see. Is our head in power on? All right. HEP mode. Let's get over here and take a look. So you can't even move that switch. You can't move lead trailer wayside. Everything is so quiet in the interior. Oh my god! What is that? Oh, I'd also like to mention that uh, upon looking from a couple of notable people within the community, there are still broken scripts with this thing that uh, are clearly displayed within the logmate. Yet it was released this way. I believe it's got something to do with brakes. They, they sound really bad. Really bad. Alright, so I think I turned the head in power off, yes? Let's look at this um, 
Watch the button here when I press it. It like it toggles side to side. Now again, I'm no I'm no Antrac, uh, you know, foamer, but I'm pretty sure a push plunger button button doesn't move left to right. And right to left. And that doesn't sound like head and power on this 7 FDL. So this is it without it. It may sound a little bit quiet. At least it does to me. Like I said, I had to turn my system sounds down because the the just a standard idle in this thing was ear molestation. It should be illegal what this thing sounded like. Just standard idle at, at, a, at a nominal volume. All right, so that's HEP off. Turn it back on. I love how it just immediately pops on. Boop! Magic! You're a wizard, Harry. It kind of sounds like a Jenny running. But very, very, like, shrill and whistly. All right, let's get the hell out of here. All right, let's see. Notch one. Wait a minute. The keys are backwards. So, W, forward, S, reverse, on the reverser. And then A is accelerate, and D is decelerate, or brake. It's, it's actually reversed. So, D is accelerate, and A, A is uh, notch down. So, D is notch up, A is notch down. All right, we're not drawing amps. What did I do? What did I not do? I might actually have to look at something here. Can you mess? Can you? Can you actually mess with these MFDs? No, no, nothing clicks. What did I do? Back panel. Here we go. This thing ain't pro range. I can do this without looking at the manual. We'll turn all the lights on just to see what it looks like. It's in run. You can't touch those anyway. What am, what am I missing here? Oh, it was interlocked with the uh, loco brake. I knew this one. You don't need no damn manual. Get out of here, man. Little Boonhauer came out right there. All right, let me look at the manual again. I want to see if the um, uh, cab signal ag acknowledgement. So that's F. Why wouldn't that just be Q with the alerter? Why not just have that the same key like everyone has done for an eternity? It works perfectly fine. So did, does the cab signaling actually work? I don't see anything about actually turning that on or off. Um, uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Why is this thing considered pro range, my guy? This is not pro range. Alright, I gotta remember to hit D to throttle up instead of A. This is mega dumb dumb. Let's look at these numbers here. Screw it. Notch 8. We're going balls deep. All right, so head and power's on. The maximum RPM should be 900, yeah.
Those, those amp uh, drawing down look hella fast. Those numbers are moving, man. All right, so the deal with head-in power is it largely sounds the same the whole time, right, when it's on, because it's constantly running at the same speed. Uh, <laughs> look, at the, look at the people in there. Look how high they're sitting. Yet when you're in the actual thing, you can't see over the dash like a baby. Uh, the markers look pretty crap. Um, you know, they're, they're not colored correctly. Uh, you know, they're like pink. Uh, the one up top, DTM is notorious for terrible lights and flares. This, it obviously looks like the flare is like protruding from the actual unit itself. Um, yeah, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Let's turn the lights on. <laughs> This is like, I've seen mobile games that look better than this. Look at that, man. It's still got that stupid flare, the rings, you know, the halos. You can kind of see it there. But look at it like clipping through the side there. And they're just like white as the freaking purest driven winter snow. Get out of here, man. This is on and off. The number board looks terrible. I don't. I don't know how, but uh, the light has managed to protrude through the metal because it's all painted the same color. There's no actual film there or lens, if you will. Yep, lights look bad. Lights look bad. All right, let's let's turn the HEP off and see what this thing sounds like without it. Yes, I am running with markers on. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Notch four. Those run sounds are garbage. Uh, they do not sound good. I think they're new, but they are looped to hell and back. It literally sounds like a, a broken record scratching. It's very tinny, very thin. This is a big, heavy, chungus train. Much thick. I can hear it chugging, but but it's uh, it's pretty quiet. Notch six. I mean, they're they're quiet, but they they kind of sound like a FDL sixteen. You know, it's kind of muddy. That makes very good. Kinda, kinda, a little bit. Um, still got that same old DTM exhaust. Uh, you know, the little little black little black cotton balls, if you will. They don't look that great. The, what the hell was that noise? Let's see what a run by sounds like. Okay, so the sounds are kind of there. Um, they're still very tinny. They have a loop. 
Those are new. He's not used bef those before I, that I recall. Um, they just don't sound right to me. All right, bell back off. What else do we need to test? Lights look terrible. It's got the strobes. Strobes look terrible. Uh, let's look at the coaches. Oh, man, the sound in here. <laughs> Footrests look okay. That's probably the best looking thing in here. Pedestal? Those look okay. But also, you know, these are coaches. I don't, um, I don't, I don't play this to, to pretend to be a passenger. Um, you know, that's just me. We're all different, which is fine. Um, so stuff like this I could care about. Maybe don't even model it and just concentrate on the locomotive and the exterior of the, the coaches. Sightseer. <laughs> sound, man. Can you imagine going cross country and listening to this for 18 hours? Or however long. What is that supposed to be? Got a weird lighting issue there. Yeah, some some people go crazy for this stuff. I could give a crap. Here's the diner. A little roomettes. Yeah, I I see nothing new as as far as like interior of the coaches. Um, yeah, this this thing's pretty not good. Uh, you know, I'm I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff. Uh, I spent a lot of time comparing it to to a, a freeware mod, um, which is just eons better. Not not only that, but the sound on the on the freeware mod is legit as hell compared to this. I 100% do not recommend it. Uh, you know, it's nice that he's that he's uh, you know trying to learn another uh, software to to actually get the things in game as far as modeling and texturing and things of that nature. Um, so we'll see. We'll see if, you know, this is the beginning of, you know, what's to come of new things. Uh, you know, we'll see. But as of right now, the thing is just, it's just, I don't know. It, it just, again, it looks like a, another half-hearted attempt. Uh, just, just kind of cheap and um, definitely not worth $20. But uh, I guess I'll leave it there. If you have any suggestions or comments or questions you'd like to ask, please let them rip. I probably missed a lot of things. Oh, look at the look at the 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 shadow for the uh, the fan there shining through. <laughs> um, and I don't believe. Yeah, there's no um, there's no Hossler view as far as I can tell. Um, so yeah. Oh, let's let's apply the brakes. That is one more thing we can do. Oh, it sounds amazing. Oh, listen to that. It's got the compressor. Whoa. That's probably the best sound in the pack. Um You know, braking, it, it did okay. I didn't really pay much attention to it, nor acceleration. It seems okay. It's not like the travel by train crap that's, uh, that's like slot car physics. They're still not great, but uh, they're, they're better than TBT, so I'll, I'll give it that. Um, <laughs> yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is the DTM P40. Uh, just go get the freeware pack. I'll link it down below. Save 20 bucks. That's it, guys. I'll see you next time.